with Jesus. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. And we're still on the series called Parables with Jesus. All right. And this is the fifth, five, fifth, fifth, fifth. That's a little remix. All right. Fifth episode. This is the fifth one, guys. So we made it a full hand. So this one is, is the parable of the wise and foolish builders. Okay? And I want you to think rock or sand. Rock or sand. Okay? But before we do, share this with somebody. I believe it's going to bless you. And, and, and we don't want to keep blessings to ourselves. We want to share blessings. That way God can bless us with even more. Amen. Because if you keep it all to yourself, you're being stingy, man. You know. And God doesn't bless stingy people. He blesses those who bless others. All right. So, but before we get into it, let us pray. Uh, dear God, we just want to thank you for this beautiful day, Lord God. We want to thank you for everything that you're doing, Lord God. We thank you for working behind the scenes, the things that we do not see, Lord God. I don't know what you're doing sometimes, Lord God, but I know that you're doing something. So open up our, our ears, our minds, our hearts, our bodies, our souls, Lord God, to be able to receive your word today, Lord God, that it may be you that speaks and not my flesh, but your spirit in your precious name. Amen. So we're going to Matthew chapter 7. Okay. Hope you got your Bibles. Get your phone apps or whatever. Oh, and we put it on the screen anyways. So Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. All right. And this is Jesus talking again. This is Jesus talking to the multitudes. He's talking to you. He's talking to me. So put yourself in this story. Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down. The streams rose and the wind blew and beat against the house. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the wind blew and beat against the house. And it fell with a great crash. Jesus is talking about two builders. He's talking about two different people. The ones that built their house on the rock, a solid rock foundation, or the ones that built their house on sand. And, and, and so Jesus is the rock. Okay? He is the rock. So he's saying, there's the wise builders, there's the foolish builders. The wise builders build their house on me, on his word, right? On Jesus' word, on the Bible, on what he says, okay? So, the foolish builds their, their, their house on the sand, the advice of the world. The worldly views, all right? The house, listen, the house represents your life, okay? What are you building your life on? Are you standing on the rock or are you, are you building your house on sand? Are you being wise or are you being foolish? Rock or sand? And listen, if you're building yours on sand, don't worry. We're going to get you out of there. By the end of this video, my prayer is that you get out of the sand into the rock. Amen. On a good, solid foundation. So, are you building your house, your life, on the rock or sand? Jesus is the rock, a sturdy structure, a solid foundation. He is a rock. Have you ever seen the rocks on the ocean? When the waves hit, hits them, uh, 
it takes, it observes the waves and it doesn't move. It's not shooken, right? Those big boulders. But now, have you ever seen anybody building a sand castle? Now with those same waves hit them, it destroys it, right? The foundation, when you build a house, is going to make it or break it, right? When you build a, a, a structure, a big structure, a building, a house, they have to de uh, dig deep, right? And lay the foundation before anything else. If you start building the house before the foundation, it's going to be rocky. It's going to be shaky. When the wind and the storm comes, it's going to blow it over. So that's what Jesus is saying. You're building your house on sand. You are foolish. If you're building your house on his foundation, on him, he says he's the rock. See? Then you're wise. So... I want to be wise, and I believe you want to be wise. That's why you're watching this. You don't want to be foolish. You're, 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 you keep on tuning into this because you want to be filled with God's word and wisdom upon your life, right? That's why you're watching it. It's not a coincidence. It's because God is doing something in your life. So, Here's the thing, when the storm of trials and waves of tribulation and hardship comes, will you be able to stand and observe it? Or will your life fall apart? Will it be destroyed? See, when we live by the word, by Jesus' word, you're being wise. And Jesus here, he says, everyone who hears these words of mine, see, right now you're hearing these words. And then he says, and puts them into practice. So the next step is putting it into practice. There's a lot of people that read their Bible and maybe they've read it from back to front, back to front. I've heard some people tell me, oh, I've read it like four times. Like, wow, that's great. But yet they still act foolish. So it's not only reading the word of God, it's also applying the word of God. I'd rather you take your time over years and read the whole Bible than read it in one month and never apply it. See? So Jesus is saying, when you hear my words and then you apply it, ah, you're wise, right? So let's talk about the sand. Now, if you ever walked on the beach, all right, and you stand on the sand, all right, what happens is you start to notice that you begin to kind of sink in. And when the, the, the waves come in, you begin to notice that it shifts the sand and moves it and moves it right it's constantly shifting and changing the sand hmm. see just like our just like the sand in to, in today's culture is constantly shifting and changing their opinion Today's society is constantly changing their minds on what evil is and what good is. By their standards, they call things that are, that are evil, they call it, oh, it's fine. Go ahead and do that. It's all good. No one's judging you. Yeah, you can do it. No problem. But see, God, the rock, his word says he's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. See, he never changes his mind. His word never changes. He has stated it. It is done. It has been done until the end of time. 
What God calls evil is evil. What God calls good is good. What God calls holy is holy. It doesn't matter what the, the media or social media or anybody, your friends, family, or anybody says. It's God's word. And too many people today are, are looking into talk show hosts, celebrities, rappers, singers, right? Famous people, and they're hearing their advice, and they take it and apply it into their life. But see, God calls them foolish. If, it doesn't, if that advice doesn't align with God's word, it is foolish. And you're building your house on sand. Because when the real trials and tribulations come, it will fall. But if you build your life, if your advice comes from God and the word and his spirit, ah, you're being wise. And when the real trouble comes and the tribulations come, you're going to stand. See? And here's the thing, Jesus is not saying, I need you to be the rock. No, no, no. He's saying, I am the rock, and all you have to do is build on me. See, he protects you from the waves, from the trials and tribulations when they come. He is your rock. You know that you can stand when hardship comes because your foundation is on Jesus Christ. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, are you building your relationships? Are you building your family on the rock or on sand? Right? Because people and family will tell you, oh, it's fine. This is fine. That is fine. But see, when God says different, and sometimes your family members and friends, you know, they might not mean it as bad, right? They might, not, they, they, they might be giving you advice, which they think might be good advice, but if it doesn't align with God's word, it's foolish advice. So, don't go by what everybody says, it's fine. Go by what God's word says. Right now, it's popular to follow celebrities and things and that and this, to follow the crowd because they say, oh, this is fine. But if it goes what, against God's word, it's not. It's foolish. Jesus is saying it's foolish. Right. You must build your home, your life, upon the foundation of God. He has to be your rock, not the world, not its advice, but God's advice, his word. Amen? So... What kind of foundation are you building? Think about that. How are you building? Uh, uh, so with my kids, right? I know, listen guys, I know a lot of parents say, oh, I want to be my kid's best friend. See, but God called you for a duty to raise your child in the way of the Lord, to guide them and direct them in his ways. So I know there's a lot of parents out there that party with their kids. And it's like, oh, well, you know, this and that. But no, 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 that's not what God's word says. See? And don't just do it because your parents did it. Right? Now, I'm not over there beating my kids or anything like that, right? I love my kids. My kids are good. I am, I'm blessed. But I've taught my kids since little... Whenever they have questions, we go to the word. What does God say? Not what do I say? What does God say? Right? 
And sometimes friends too, they'll ask me something and they're like, what do you think? And I tell them, you know what, it doesn't matter what I think. It matters what God says. Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to judge you. God is going to judge you before you enter heaven. So, are you building your life on his word? See, and a lot of the times we, we think that, oh, this is, you know, this Christianity walk is just, ah, oh, you know, it's just so strict, so this, that. No, no, listen, it is freedom. It is freedom from the, the, the devil's mentality. It is freedom from slavery. It is freedom from addiction. It is freedom from depression. It is freedom from alcoholism. It is freedom from drugs. It is freedom from the mindset that's keeping you down. See, God wants you to be blessed. And he wants you to be strong. And he wants to protect you because he loves you. So he wants you, he's asking today, will you let him be the rock in your life? Will you let him be the rock in your life? That's what he's asking. He's not asking you to be a rock. He's not asking you to be strong. He's saying, I will be strong for you. Will you let me? Ah, oh, thank you, Jesus. He's saying, will you let me be your foundation? So when the trials and tribulations come and things and you don't know what to do, He's got you because your house was built on the rock. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. See, when my kids get sick and things happen and these trials and tribulations hit, don't get me wrong, sometimes I, I worry and I'm like, okay, what am I going to do, God? But then I realize that, guess what? My foundation, my kids' and my wife's and my family's foundation is on the rock. And so when those trials and tribulations hit me, I begin to pray and say, God, you have this. See, my kid was sick. Both of my kids got sick not too long ago. And with everything happening in the world, you, you, as a father, as a parent, you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do, right? Ah, but then I was like, God, you got this. And I began to pray. And God began to heal them and deliver them from sickness. One was rushing to the ER. Ah, but she's fine. God is good. God pulled through. I was outside praying because they wouldn't let me in in the hospital. I was outside like a madman, circling the hospital, just praying. And God's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm praying. He's like, you already did that. We got this. There's angels all around. It's like, woo, thank you, Jesus. See, when you build the relationship with God, you begin to realize that when things happen, he has his arms around you. And he's got you. Because your foundation is on the rock. Not on sand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Listen, I hope this blessed you. I hope this is encouraging you. And if it did, please share it with somebody. Somebody needs to hear this message. Somebody needs to start building their house on the rock. If, if you've been building your house on the sand, if you've been building your advice, your your, your life on the advice of the world and the worldly things, and you've been chasing the world and all, the, all these things, I know it's left you depressed. And it's left you with a void in your heart. Because what you need is the rock, Jesus Christ. And he's saying, will you let me be your rock today? If that's you, 
Just ask him to come into your life and into your hearts right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Share this word with somebody. Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to be delivered. God can deliver you from any, anything. God can do miracles right now. God wants to reach you. God wants to love you. He wants to build a relationship with you. Will you begin to build that relationship, your house, with him? Will you begin to build your life with him? If that's you, we're going to pray right now. If you need prayer, if you need anything, my website will be right here. Uh, you can email me at my website. You can, you, can, you can message me on Facebook, on YouTube, whatever. Reach out to me if you need prayer. Okay? Before we leave, let us pray. Dear God, we just want to thank you right now, Lord God. And we ask you to come into our hearts and our lives, Lord God. And, and, and we want to be more our foundation, our life, Lord God. We want to build it on the rock. We want to build it on you, Lord God, on your principles, principles, Lord God, on your word, Lord God, that we may, we may be solid and we may be able to stand the trials and tribulations. When the enemy comes and attacks us, Lord God, that we may be able to resist temptation. Resist those drugs in the name of Jesus. Lord, right now I pray for those that are depressed right now. That it may be gone right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus will set you, can, he will set you free in the name of Jesus. Begin to show them love, Lord God. We thank you for your love, Lord God. Begin to touch them right now. There's somebody praying right now in their house, crying right now. God says he loves you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He loves you. He loves you. Mm, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Begin to read his word. Download the Bible app on your phone. If you don't have a Bible, it's easy. Go into your free app and download a Bible app. Thank you for watching. Share it with somebody. Until we see each other again next week, go back and watch some of the, the other videos. Like I said, this is the fifth episode. Thank you guys for all the encouraging words and everything and your, your, uh, your prayer requests that you've been sending to me and, and, and just your comments. I love you guys. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye.